In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious raspberry buttercream. Hi, it's Carolyn. If you wanna learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes, then I would love for you to join me by hitting subscribe and the bell. I have a video showing you how I make strawberry buttercream and somebody asked me how to do raspberry and I make it all the time and it is so yummy, so delicious. I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get into the video. To make this, you're going to need two and a half sticks of butter. I prefer to use salted butters. The salt in the butter cuts down on the sweetness. This is 20 tablespoons or 10 ounces of butter. And it is softened to room temperature. One half cup of shortening. I use Sweet Tex high ratio shortening. It gives such a better mouth feel. It's not as greasy. It tastes so much better. I do have a video on comparing shortenings and I will link that below. A two pound bag of powdered sugar. This is 907 grams. Wilton clear vanilla because I put it in everything. It's not necessary to put vanilla in here, but I just love it. So I put it in everything. And you will need a sleeve of raspberry filling. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I, I can find it and link it below, but this stuff is delicious. To start, I'm gonna add the two and a half sticks of butter to the bowl. And just mix that on about a five or six out of 10 for 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add the half cup of shortening. And again, mix that on a five or six out of 10 for 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the vanilla. I would say between one and two teaspoons. I just eyeball it. You can measure it out if you'd like. And just mix that on five out of 10 for 10 seconds. Now, I forgot to mention, we are gonna need some liquid. I just have a, a, just a couple tablespoons of liquid. I just use water. Uh, you can use milk if you want to. I really haven't seen a big difference between using milk and water, so I just prefer to use water. This is room temperature, and this is about a tablespoon, so I like to use this coffee scoop as a measure. What I like to do is put some liquid down in the bottom of the bowl. It helps prevent the sugar from sticking. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon, two tablespoons of liquid on the bottom. Now, I have to say this, if it is humid where you are, you're going to you're going to need less liquid. If it is dry, you're going to need more. So don't use the liquid that I use as a guide. Like you have to figure out how much you're going to need. It's better to start with less and then add more if you need to. I have a towel here that I'm going to put over my mixer that way I don't get sugar all over my kitchen. And I'm going to add the entire bag of powdered sugar. If it sticks here, I'm just gonna turn it on real quick just so I can get the bag out. And now I'm gonna cover this so you're not gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna mix this on low about like the stir setting or a one or a two out of 10, just for 30 seconds to get it incorporated, to get it incorporated and then I will add some more liquid. I wanna lock it into place, turn it on low. Now I can hear it starting to come together. And it's still gonna be pretty thick because I didn't add a lot of liquid. I don't wanna add too much liquid because the raspberry filling has moisture in it. So I'm gonna do one more tablespoon. Good, and I just wanna stop right now and scrape down the sides and the bottom. If you have a scraper blade, you can skip this step. I just don't like using scraper blades. They're just messy. <laughs> it just gets stuff everywhere. And now look, this is still pretty thick. It's hard for me to push my spatula in it. And this is actually a good consistency to add the raspberry filling because the filling is gonna thin out the consistency of the icing. So I have a half cup of the filling here. I'm just gonna add the entire thing. And then mix that on a, about a two out of 10 for, actually it's good to like a four out of 10 for about 30 seconds. And I just want to stop again and scrape down the sides and scrape the bottom. And now I'll mix it one final time on about a four or five out of 10 for like 20 seconds. And I can easily spread this so I don't need to add more liquid. If you find that it's difficult to spread, just add about, you know, another half tablespoon of liquid at a time until you get it to a nice spreadable consistency. And there is the delicious raspberry buttercream filling. 
So there you go. There is my most delicious raspberry buttercream recipe. I hope you like it as much as I do. I make it all the time. And this is basically just my vanilla American buttercream recipe that has the raspberry filling added to it. So I have a link below where you can get the raspberry filling and if you do strawberry filling, then it'll be strawberry. I also do blueberry. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so good. The blueberry. Oh man. I love my blueberry, raspberry and strawberry fillings. They are so delicious. So if you want to do a different flavor, take that basic recipe and then add a half cup of whatever flavor of the fillings in the sleeves that you want to use. Now I've had people ask me, can I use jelly instead? Or I would say to use probably, would a jam be better? I don't know. Is there a difference with the jam? Wait, it makes me think of friends with Monica's jam plan when she was trying to get over a man. <laughs> anyway, um, you may be able to use jam or jelly. However, I never have, so I'm not sure how it will turn out, but if you try it, then let me know. Please let me know how it turns out. I would love to know if you can use like a, a jelly preserves or something like that, and you can make tons of different flavors. Now, how do we store this? What I usually do, because I use so much sour cream, I save these little containers that they come in. So I will just put the extra in here and I can store it in the refrigerator. It will be good in there for up to a month. And if you want to keep it longer than a month, you can just freeze it uh, for up to three months. And then if you want to thaw it, take it out of the freezer, put it in the fridge overnight, and then take it out and leave it on the countertop while it's still closed in the container for a couple hours for it to thaw. Now, how many cakes can that entire batch that I made fill. Well, I, I filled three cakes with it, so I took pictures so I can show you. Now, if you've seen my videos before, I, I either tort the layers or I do thicker layers. So I did a five inch cake that was torted. So the filling, there's three layers of filling in that cake and it's thinner layers of filling with the thinner cake. And then the same thing, I did a seven inch cake that also has three thinner layers of the filling. And then this last one, I did a nine inch cake that has the thicker layers. So there's two layers of thicker filling and that entire batch filled those cakes. And this is literally all that was left. I had to scrape it off because I wanted to try some. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh, it is so good. And let me just tell you that this pairs amazing with lemon cake. And I do have a video on how I make a lemon doctored cake mix. Gonna put this down. And that lemon cake with this raspberry buttercream is amazing. It's so good. So try, try both of these together. It's one of the flavors that I recommend to people all the time. But other flavors that people usually get it with would be just plain yellow or vanilla cake. Um, and also chocolate cake, it goes really well with it too. And this person, for some reason, they wanted chocolate chip cake with the raspberry filling. I personally wouldn't pick that, but hey, you can pick whatever you want when you order a cake. <laughs> so if you don't have to make a bunch of cakes that have that filling in it, what I would recommend is you can either have the recipe or if I'm doing a really small cake, what I'll usually do is just take some vanilla buttercream that's already made and take a little bit of that raspberry filling and put some in there and just mix it. Like not an entire half cup, just do a little bit at a time and mix it and see if you get a strong enough flavor. That way you don't have to make an entire batch and save it if, if you don't need it. So that's it for now. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And you can follow me on my socials and my website. Everything is listed in the description below as well. And if you want to stick around, you can watch these two videos next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, it's cake. Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.